this problem we have a three by three matrix and we're being asked if it's a singular matrix. So basically, if the determinant of this matrix is zero, then we say it is singular. So all we have to do in this problem is compute the determinant. If it's zero, it's singular. If it is not zero, then it is not singular. So to compute the determinant, we're going to use what's called cofactor expansion. So I'll start by um, doing that. So basically what we do, so the determinant of A, that's notation for determinant, is equal to, so basically what you do is you have to pick um, a row or a column. I'm gonna pick the first row, and you can use any row or column. So it's going to be the first row, so let's work with the one first. So the coefficient, which is one, times, and you always have a negative one here, and it's always row plus column. So this is the first row, first column. So it'll be first row plus first column. Again, you take the coefficient, which is one, you take a negative one always, and it's row plus column. And then if you were to cross out, I'll do it, then I'll erase it. If you cross out the column and the row, you're left with this uh, little sub matrix, okay? So you cross out the corresponding row and column, and we're left with the sub matrix, and you take the determinant of that. So that's called the minor of the one one entry. So it's the minor of that entry. Then you go to the next one, which is zero, so it's not really going to matter, but I'll write it for completion. So it's zero times, and it's always a negative one, and again, it's row plus column. So you're in the first row, second column, so one plus two. And again, you cross out the corresponding row, you cross out the corresponding column, and you take the determinant of the remaining submatrix. So what's left here? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase my yellow lines. So zero, two, negative one, negative four. And then I'm gonna go to the next line just to make sure I have enough room, plus negative two. And again, it's negative one. Hopefully now you're starting to see the pattern. It's row plus column. So first row, third column, so one plus three. Let's cross out the corresponding row and column and take the determinant of the remaining submatrix, zero, negative one, and then two, one. Okay, so the determinant of A equal to, so here this is negative one to the second power, so it's squared, so it's going to be positive one, and then it's times one, so all of that is one. Here we'll use a formula. It's negative one times negative four minus negative one times one. And normally I would skip some steps here, but maybe you haven't seen this in a while, so it's this times this minus this times this. So negative one times negative four minus, that's part of the formula, and then negative one times one. All of this is gone, we don't have to worry about it, so plus zero. Here we have negative one to the fourth power, so it's one, and then we have a negative two, and then zero times one, which is zero, and then minus, minus negative one times two, but that's gonna turn it into a plus. That's what I normally do, I do some of those simple computations in my head, and it avoids all of this mess. So <laughs> zero times one is zero minus, and again, negative one times two is negative two, but you're, you're, you're including the minus from the formula, so it becomes a positive two. So we have that the determinant of A is equal to, uh, this one doesn't matter, so this is going to be four plus one, right? and the one's on the outside, so it goes away and then minus two times two, getting to the end here. So the determinant of A, four plus one is five, and then um, this, oh, this is, this is a positive two. I made a mistake here. This is, this is let me just backtrack this. I, don't, I can't believe it, small mistake. It's zero plus two, which is two, there it is five minus four, which is one. So the determinant is one, so it's not zero, so it is non-singular. We have a non-singular matrix, or the matrix is not singular. You could say non-singular, not singular, it is not singular. 
Singular, no, put an X. <laughs> yeah, so kind of a fun problem. Easy to mess up. You saw how I messed up at the end there. I just magically pulled a minus. I'm like, no, no, that's not there. I'm not seeing things. That's a plus. So if this would have been a minus, then yeah, it would have been that. But yeah, so since it wasn't zero, the answer is not singular. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is learning some mathematics. Good luck.